Assistant coach Joe Dubuque and Ryan Callahan are both closely familiar with the New Jersey High School State Wrestling Finals. Joe Dubuque won the 2000 and 2001 New Jersey State Championships during his time at Glen Ridge High School. Ryan Callahan, a senior wrestler and 2013 EIWA place winner here at Princeton, was an undefeated state champion in 2010. They discuss their journey to a New Jersey State title, how special it is to be a part of that fraternity, and why Saturday's match will be extra special for both of them. Winning that first state championship uh, kind of tells you, hey, you can do this. You can do this on every level. You know, it's like once you win a, once you win a championship, it just, in your mind, gives you that confidence that you can do anything. And he is going to win his second national championship. First one from Indiana to do that since the 30s. Get in there, center, Since center. Charlie McDaniel way back center, in 1935 Joe. and 1938. Joe Dubuque, your champion at 125. But then when you get in there, you know, as a freshman and you do well and you're, you know, I place in the States, I'm like, I can do this. I can do this. So, like, my junior year, when I made the state finals, I was like, there's no way I'm losing. Like, I have all these people, I think there's like, man, there's probably 12,000 people at, at the finals. In front of all the people, in front of all the cameras, that's where I feel at home. And I think, you know, wrestling in that environment at the state tournament um, helped me calm my nerves, helped me just basically embrace the spotlight. And, and you have these memories with guys who you know, maybe didn't go on to collegiate wrestling, but you still have that bond of high school wrestling. It's like no other. Freshman year of high school, I just really wanted to wrestle at Regions, like at, at Walk Hill. Um, but then after that, it's like, wow, I could do bigger things than like everyone. I mean, once you go to Atlantic City the first time, you want to be on that stage too, because it's even bigger. Um, so, I mean, once I think high school wrestlers see that and they appreciate Atlantic City, they just want to be out there. Final seconds of a second period. Callahan takedown to make it 5 0. And then Callahan with another takedown to make it 7 0. Callahan goes on to win the state title. The final score at 171, 8 to 3. It's incredible. This was my uh, my goals our season, undefeated state champ. And uh, I did it. I completed all my goals. And uh, it's, it's amazing. I, I mean, I've been praying every night for this. So it's finally, it's great to finally get it. But when you're like in New Jersey and you, you get around guys, you know, and you're in a wrestling environment with, with other high school wrestlers, you, you talk about the memories, you talk about the tournaments, and even the guys who maybe were so good but then they didn't go to states, you got those stories, uh, it's awesome. If you've wrestled in Atlantic City, like you know the environment and you know how like, stressful it can be, so you kind of have like a mutual respect for other guys who have done it too. At the end of the tournament, they do like the state champ picture, and like everyone kind of knows who everyone is, and it's everyone's really. It's a really light atmosphere. Everyone's high five, and it's it's really cool. When Coach Gray uh, brought up the idea of you know a celebration in New Jersey wrestling and, and having you know past state champions being honored, you know um, during a rivalry of two New Jersey colleges, it was awesome. But I think this is something that New Jersey wrestling needs. Um, you kind of have like a mutual respect for guys you've wrestled all season from your county, like you want each other to do well. So I think this is good for New Jersey wrestling as a whole and that everyone can come back together and support each other um, and just build on New Jersey wrestling, you know. You win that state championship, you're in, you're in the books forever. You know, nobody can take that away from you. And when you come back, everybody remembers. Every, the memories come back, uh, the, the wins and the losses and the, you know, the good times and the bad, they all come back. And, and it's great to bring guys back who are now older or, you know, just other family members who want to rekindle those memories. Uh, and I think it's awesome. I mean, it's big for our program. It's big for Rutgers. It's big for New Jersey wrestling. I mean, in general, it should go on forever. Um, I mean, we can't throw parades every day for you, but I mean, it's great to have these, uh, these celebrations and, and these, you know, honorings of guys who, who did great things while they were in high school.